Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting problem. We have x times y plus x divided by y is equal to 35. And we have to find the values of x and y where x and y are positive integers. But before we begin, if you are new here, please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video so that YouTube will recommend to other people. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is to make x divided by y the subject from this equation. And if you do that, we have 35 minus x times y is equal to x divided by y. Great. Now let's analyze this equation. This 35 is an integer. Then from the problem, we are saying x and y are also integers. Now, when you multiply integer by an integer, you still be getting an integer. So it means that x times y is also an integer. Now, when you take integer from another integer, you still be getting integer. Meaning this x divided by y here is also an integer, but x is greater than y. In other words, x is a multiple of y. So this implies that x will only be equal to y when you multiply y by a certain integer. So we have k to be an integer as well. Right. Now, in place of x from the original equation, we can put k times y. So this original equation now becomes ky times y plus ky divided by y is equal to 35. Now let's go ahead and then simplify this. ky times y is ky to the second power, then plus. This k will cancel this, so we have k here, and this is equal to 35. Now let's factor k out. We have k times y to the second power plus 1 is equal to 35. This 35 is the same as 1 times 35. It is also the same as 5 times 7. Now let's pay attention to what is in the parentheses here. y to the second power plus 1. This y to the second power is a squared number, then plus 1. So we look in these pairs, which of them contains perfect number, then plus 1. Now you realize that this 5 over here is the same as 4 plus 1, where this 4 is a perfect number, then plus 1. So it means that this whole thing is equal to 5, then k is equal to 7. So we can say that k is equal to 7, and then y to the second power plus 1 is equal to 5. Now let's go ahead and then solve for y from this equation. We have y to the second power is equal to 5 minus 1. So this implies that y to the second power is equal to 4. Now we want y, so let's take square root on the both side. So we have plus or minus here. Then these two cancel this. We have y is equal to plus or minus 2. But remember from the question y is a positive integer, so y is equal to 2. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and then plug the value of k and y into this equation over here. We have x is equal to k times y. But we know that k is equal to 7 and then y is equal to 2. So this implies that x is equal to 14. So the values of x and y turns out to be 14 and then 2. Now let's check our answer. We have x to be 14, so we have 14 times 2 plus 14 divided by 2, and this must be 35. We know that 14 times 2 is 28, then plus 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 28 plus 7 is 35. So you can see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Therefore, the value of x and y are 14 and 2 respectively. Guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.